Were you surprised that he lost to Dake in the trials to Kyle Dake? Oh, Kyle's so so he's so good, right? I mean, I think I think his performance in the Olympics was uh was his loss in the Olympics was, was shocking to I mean we never seen that happen to Kyle Dake. You know, he's been a guy who's competed with Jordan Burroughs forever and obviously he was on the losing side for a while and now he's on the winning side. Um but I think a lot of people thought it was a coin flip and I think actually Kyle Dake made it feel like it's not a coin flip. It feel right. now to me it feels like Kyle Dake is going to win that match significantly more times than he isn't, is what it feels like. Yeah. I forgot which trials it was. Was it four years ago where Kyle Dake threw him? Like he, he, so you, was, you saw inklings of like, yeah. oh, wow, there might be a, eventually a changing of the guard. Yeah. So 13, Kyle came out and he had the one throw, but then he lost one of the matches decisively. Um, and then he was hurt in 14 and in 16, Kyle Dick actually went up to 86 kilograms. So in, in actually in 16 at the trials we had, um, so Jake Herbert was number one seed. He was former, uh, as Guy Russell, I was a former world silver medalist. So you had, uh, David Taylor, who had not made a team yet, who is now a world champion, Olympic champion. You had Kyle Dake in the bracket, who was a two-time world champion now. And you had Jaden Cox in the bracket who had not made any teams yet, mm -hmm. but is now, what, a four-time world medals, two-time world champion. So, and then, obviously, Jaden came out on top of that, won his first Olympic medal, Olympic bronze medal. Um, so, Kyle didn't wrestle Jordan in 16. And, and Jordan and Kyle's contention the whole time, and they argued about this. So, I actually did a little bit of backstabbing. Well, it was not, it's not backstabbing. And both I, of them were just one of I didn't tell any of them. Okay. okay. So, Jordan got mad. We, so we, talk, we talked about this fake match during Corona, right? We, yeah. We had, to make, we had to make up something to talk about. Yeah, There's obviously no matches. So we talk about this fake match, and uh, uh, do you stand behind that statement? By the way, listen. Here's what here's what I said. Kyle Dick, Kyle Dick's four time NCAA champion. Yes, I said you got to pick a you got to pick a winner. I said Kyle Dick wins two one on a minute and six ride time, yeah. which I mean is literally we're talking yeah. as close as it gets, mm -hmm. as close as it gets for Kyle Dick, who's a four time NCAA champion. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, were we talking over folk Jordan style, Burrows? Over Jordan Burrows yes, in a folk style match. In a folk style match. The hypothetical. College or now? Hypothetical. Now or in college? In college. In college. Both of them at their peaks at 165 pounds. Right. So <laughs> completely hypothetical. And so Jordan called in. He was all pissed at yeah. me for picking Kyle Dake. Yeah. He wants to come on the next day and argue his point. Yeah. So I said, F that. That's that's dumb. Well, we had to pick a winner. We had to do something hypothetical. Yeah. So then I called Kyle Dake and I said, hey, Kyle, Jordan's going to come on and argue his case in the morning. If he's going to do that, why don't you come in and argue your case? Mm -hmm. So no one else knew Kyle was going to coming on the podcast <laughs> so they both show up and they went at it but one of the contentions kyle had for years and there's still this rule if you win a world level medal the following year you sit out until the very end of the american trials and they do yeah. they do a best two or three so every time previously that kyle had wrestled jordan he had to come through a tournament on saturday yeah okay probably three matches and then on sunday he would wrestle Jordan in the best two out of three, mm -hmm. right? So his contention was, I'm only wrestling Jordan at a disadvantage because I have to compete on Saturday and then competing on, which it, it's a fair argument. It really is. But I also see USA Wrestling's point is like, if someone wins a world medal, we're, we're going to reward them because we want that person on the team again. So it's crazy though that you're like Kyle Dake had to wrestle because he's not wrestling bums in that not division. Bums, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how wrestlers do it because. Yeah, you have to go to war like three matches and then face Jordan Barrows. Yeah, especially a few of those years with you know Dake had uh, the name Andrew Howe, but it, mm -hmm. those were really competitive oh, yeah. matches. David Taylor had really competitive matches with him. Isaiah Martinez even got in there. Deeringer, so he had some really competitive matches before he ever got to uh, Jordan Burroughs. So I never answered your initial question was uh, how did I feel? So the Jordan Burroughs match, I was not in wrestling shape at all meaning wrestling's heavily dependent especially neutral positions heavily dependent on timing and other things i was wrestling very very minimally because i was i was started fighting again mm -hmm. so like my my sh athletic shape was great but it was mainly for fighting i wasn't mm -hmm. wrestling so um i think they were actually trying to do burrow's dake at the beat the streets it's mm -hmm. a big it's, it's the biggest fundraiser in wrestling every single year in new york in new york it? city yeah they usually raise like a million dollars. They started all these programs in New York City to get, which the, I really wonder what they're doing with the money now because they probably can't get, have the kids wrestling because New York's crazy. 
Anyway, I, I think New York figures out a way what to do with the money. Hence, Michael Malice complaining that yeah. they're corrupt and all well, that. Well, no, it go, but it goes to the Beat the Streets organization oh, it does. who okay. then starts the clubs in New York. So I don't know what to do with the money. Anyway, so I was called like, I don't know, two two weeks before the event and said, hey, you know, someone was supposed to wrestle Jordan Burroughs. It fell out. Would you wrestle him? I said, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> you know, and it's like, listen, I, I, I trained with him for four days the year before i had a pretty good idea how the match was going to go it wasn't going to go so well for me but it's like okay you're missing a main event i can bring a, because of where i'm at right now in my life i can bring a lot of attention to wrestling i can help you guys raise, raise a bunch of money for beat the streets my my goal is i think i thought i could get one takedown or turn on him was kind of my goal for the match i didn't get there uh you weren't kind of hard he went hard. Yeah, that asshole wouldn't give me a point. Yeah, that... that. <laughs> I said, this is bullshit, Jordan. I told him during the match, like, this is bullshit. You're <laughs> fucking going too hard right now. Yeah. I'm not a wrestler. I'm not a wrestler anymore. I'm a fighter. I'm coming in yeah. here. So, yeah, so I, I had a really good idea. I mean, we, we wrestled together. I think in... in, in, in he'll probably get mad because I, I think in the live go, we did like the 12 or 15 minutes. I think I actually scored a takedown in that, yeah. I believe, maybe, or maybe it was a turn. He'll probably say, no, I didn't, but whatever. Yeah, um, yeah so I, I I knew what was going to happen. I, I knew what the outcome was going to be. I knew I could probably, I was hoping I could stay competitive and maybe, you know, lose like 10-2 or something. Like, yeah. 